after the division bodies of Earth store Bodhisattva merged into a single form, he said this well swept and said to the Buddha, Why would Earth store Bodhisattva be said? There are four meanings. One he said before for beings in the six destinies, for creating karma and of reforming. All divas, humans, asuras, beings in the hells, hungry ghosts and animals reincarnate in the six destinies, creating karma without remorse or repentance. This is the first meaning. Two, he is said that all beings are obstinate and difficult to teach. Living beings are the most obstinate. Tell them about Buddha Dharma and they refuse to listen. Talk to them about subjects other than the Buddha Dharma. They are very happy. Suppose you mention to someone, so and so is the best. He has an excellent education and character. Everything about him is good. This person will not pay much attention listening. If you speak to this person about how bad the other person is, how clever is his ways of trickery, and how no one knows his bad deeds, though he committed them, say things like this, and people will pay attention to how to be mean. They pay no heed to ways to be good, such as study the Buddha drama well, they would not want to learn. If you say, take this drug and you will experience some amazing discoveries, they would take the hallucinogen and become dazed and confused as if they were drifting to the land of ultimate bliss. Recreational drugs are most awful, but they will take it once, then once more, until they take it numerous times. Everything changes for him when he takes drugs. He feels bigger than the universe. Afterwards, though, he experiences fatigue and problems such as headaches and aches in his body. Some do not want to work at all, lying there like a dead person. He still does not wake up, though, and wonders, why am I like this? He thinks if he will just take a bit more drugs and he will become enlightened. This route was too weak. He thinks the drug is not powerful enough. If I take more, I will probably become enlightened immediately next time, succeed instant, instantaneously. It is, this more, it is not the utmost stupidity. You tell them to study the Buddha Dharma. They refuse and secretly break the law and take this kind of stuff. Obstinate beings willingly and happily commit this kind of act, difficult to teach. You teach him to study Buddhism, he is not happy. You make up some fraudulent tricks, he digs right in despite the harm he brings himself. You see, this is the human mind. Thus, the second kind of sadness that grows out of compassion for obstinate beings who are difficult to teach, being too obstinate. 3. What is Earth Star Bodhisattva's third kind of sadness? It is due to the setting sun of the Tathagata's wisdom. The Buddha is equivalent to a sun. He will enter Nirvana soon. Where therefore, Earth Star Bodhisattva is said that the sun, is, uh, the sun of wisdom is setting. 4. What is the fourth kind of sadness? It is due to major issues that Shakyamuni Buddha entrusted Earth Star Bodhisattva with in the palace of the Trajatrim Sha Heavens. Earth Star Bodhisattva will teach and transform all beings until Maitreya comes to the world, delivering them to the shore of Buddhahood and receive predictions of Buddhahood for the future. This is a very important responsibility. Shakyamuni Buddha gave such an important duty to Earth Star Bodhisattva. So this is the fourth kind of sadness. The division bodies of Earth Star Bodhisattva merged into a single form. He sadly wept and said to the Buddha throughout long ends till now, I have been receiving the Buddha's guidance and from that have developed inconceivable spiritual power, impossible to fathom and impossible to discuss, 
and great completed perfected wisdom spiritual means magnificent beyond gold you have no way to know this kind of power which is magnificent beyond gold to rescue beings requires spiritual power but if you only have spiritual powers and no wisdom it does not work either you must be replaced with great wisdom to command such spiritual powers at the same time such spiritual powers enhance your wisdom you may rescue beings only if your wisdom and spiritual powers cooperate my division bodies feel appearing everywhere in worlds as many as grains of sand in millions of billions of ganges river in each of those worlds i earth stopoli sattva transform myself into millions of billions of bodies incalculable and immeasurable each body rescues millions of billions of people having them to return respectfully to the triple jewel why pay respects to the triple jewel because all beings before taking refuge with the triple jewel are on the outside outside of what outside of the buddha drama after taking refuge with the triple jewel they desert the devon and return to the proper and abandon darkness and enter into light therefore you must return respectfully to the triple jewel and take refuge with the buddha the dharma and the sangha escape birth and death forever and reach the bliss of nirvana which is a happiness with the four qualities permanence joy true self and purity even if there are good deeds within the buddha drama amount to as little as a strand of hair a drop of water a grain of sand a mote of dust which are the lightest tiniest smallest and the most minute minute unit of good during the suragama sutra lectures i spoke of the mote of dust bordering upon emptiness it is a mode of dust we can see divided into seven which becomes the mode of dust bordering upon emptiness it is the smallest unit and let us say this or but the tip of a hair is as much good living beings do this hair is not like a hair from your head it is the tiny hair on your body the thinnest the thinnest though the hair on your head is already very light and tiny all living beings are also committing only so little good land gurus by doing so i will gradually take them across from suffering to happiness liberate them and help them gain great benefit what is great benefit is it making a big fortune earning a large profit making a big fortune is not great benefit then is it holding a high office that is no benefit either it is getting you to become a buddha you see is this a great benefit you will make sure you who will make sure you become a buddha earth star bodhisattva earth star bodhisattva will use his great spiritual powers great wisdom and various inconceivable wonderful drama to make it impossible for you to refuse like the saying one wants to stop but cannot you want to stop and say i will not study buddhism anymore but you have no way to stop this is the marvelous part who can make you this way it is our great advisor great vows earth star bodhisattva he has this wonderful activity so this is called great benefit i earth star bodhisattva only hope that the world honored one will not be worried about beings of the future who have bad karma why does he say do not worry he means i take the responsibility and trust me with this responsibility buddha do not be concerned because i will not become a buddha until all beings become buddhas unless the hells are emptied i will not become a buddha only when all beings are saved will i attain body therefore i asked the world honored one not to worry let me earth star shoulder this responsibility in that way he addressed the buddha three times 
he said it once, twice, and three times. This shows the gravity of the matter, taking this seriously. This is similar to reading the constitution three times to pass it. Read it once. Any objections? Read it twice. Do you agree? If no one says anything, then read it thrice and it passes. So, did what the Star Bodhisattva say pass? It is not the same. Repeating his hope three times is Earth Star Bodhisattva's way to communicating his earnestness. Saying it only once may make him appear irresponsible. Saying it twice may mean he is not sincere enough. Therefore, three times he said to the Buddha, I only hope that the world honored one will not be worried about the beings of the future who have bad karma. I, Earth Star, take full responsibility for them. I will definitely de deliver beings who have bad karma to the other shore so they become Buddhas. At this point of the lecture, should we not be happy? Although we have created so much karma, we still have an opportunity to become Buddhas. Why? A few days ago, I told you I wanted to buy insurance for someone. Now someone is buying insurance for us. Who bought insurance for us? Earth Star Bodhisattva. He guaranteed in advance that we, living beings who created bad karma, will all become Buddhas. This is equivalent to buying insurance for us. Those of us who hear the, the Earth Star Sutra now need not be worried or unhappy because we all have the opportunity to become Buddhas. Why? Earth Star Bodhisattva is our underwriter who long ago guaranteed that we, living beings with bad karma, can become Buddhas. He takes full responsibility for this to happen because until we become Buddhas, Earth Star Bodhisattva will not attain Bodhi. We ought to be elated. I am so happy about this sutra passage that we have lectured on today. I wrote an English song for you to sing. The song is called I am very lucky to meet a good knowing one. Who is the good knowing one? It is Earth Star Bodhisattva. Meeting Earth Star Bodhisattva means we have a guarantor who guarantees in advance that we will become Buddhas. How do we know? Just read what he repeated three times to the Buddha. I only hope that the world honor one will not be worried about beings of the future who have bad karma. We know Earth Star Bodhisattva's grace and virtue are as high as the heaven and as thick as the earth. His kindness is as profound and lofty as the saying, looking up and yet it is higher. Drilling in and yet it is even more firm, Earth Star Bodhisattva's state is inconceivable. At that time, the Buddha was very happy to hear Earth Star Bodhisattva guarantee that all beings will quickly become Buddhas, so he praised and said, Excellent, excellent. Earth Star Bodhisattva addressed the Buddha three times. The Buddha praised him with excellent twice. The Buddha values him and regards him highly. Earth Star Bodhisattva is truly a great Bodhisattva. I will help you in this work you so willingly undertake that you so enjoy. I will help you fulfill the vast vows that you keep making throughout so many ends. This vast vow is represented by the four vast vows. Living beings are numberless. I vow to deliver them. Afflictions are endless. I vow to cut them off. Drama doors are countless. I vow to study them all. The Buddha's way is unsurpassed. I vow to realize it. Now, every day, every one of us should ask ourselves, Living beings are numberless. I vow to deliver them. Did I convert people or did, con no, did people convert me? Reflect like this. Did I deliver be living beings to the shore of perfection? Did I believe in Buddhism, then convert to Catholicism? After I started believing in Buddhism, someone said, Jesus was the greatest for being nailed on the cross, so I started believing in Jesus again. Do situations like this occur? If so, you are being converted by others instead of converting others. 
Living beings are numberless. I vow to deliver them. Did you do it? How about the afflictions are endless? I vow to cut them off. Drama doors are countless. I vow to study them all. The Buddha's way is unsurpassed. I vow to realize it. We should inquire within every day. Afflictions are endless. I vow to cut them off. Are my afflictions eliminated? Do I get mad when someone is slightly rude to me? Do I become extremely ignorant? Do situations like this occur? If so, I have not ended them. Therefore, I am not completely in control. I must test myself when opportunities arise. Afflictions are endless. I vow to cut them off. Your understanding of the Buddha Dharma is only superficial if you have not ended your afflictions. When you have, you have found the acquired, the Buddha Dharma and entered the sea of the Buddha Dharma. Dharma doors are countless. I vow to study them all. The number of paths to the Buddha Dharma is infinite. Eighty-four thousand is still a general number. For how can the paths to the Buddha Dharma be limited to only thirty-four thousand? They are immeasurable and limitless Dharma doors. That's why we say Dharma doors are countless. I vow to study them all. It is not enough that I know the Sura Gama Mantra by heart. The Buddhist canon, canon is like a great ocean. I we do not understand the Buddha Dharma for studying a bit, a drop, a hair, a mud of dust, a grain of sand, and some such small amounts. Really dig into the Buddha Dharma. Drink the water from the ocean of the Buddha Dharma. If you can drink this great ocean dry in one gulp, you understand the Buddha Dharma. If you cannot dry the ocean waters in one gulp, you need to study some more. The Buddha's way is unsurpassed. I vow to realize it. You don't need any proof to know that we are not Buddhas yet. If we were Buddhas, we would not experience any of our current problems, or they would all be resolved. We should not pretend to be Buddhas when we are not. Some claim, for example, "Oh, not only am I a Buddha, you are also a Buddha. Everybody is a Buddha. What Buddha are you? An afflicted Buddha, a greedy Buddha, a hateful Buddha, a deluded Buddha, which Buddha?" People who make such claims are shameless. Do not follow these seeming individuals. Who proclaim they are Buddhas when they are not? Who proclaim that they are enlightened when they are not? Do not imitate these arrogant people who think they have some superior dharma. So, earth, star, body, sat, va. You made these four vast vows, and all those beings have been saved. Then you will be certified as having attained body. When will this happen? Never, or until the end of future. Earth star body sat that would never certify to body. You do not need to worry. Earth star body sat that attained body many ends ago. If he did not attain body, he would not have such great spiritual powers and such enormous wisdom. This is an inconceivable state. Therefore, do not worry that earth star body sat that did not certify to body. He did so long ago. Now he is waiting for you to attain body, for me to attain body, and for him to attain body. He is waiting for you, for me, and for him. What is the body? Why do we want to attain it? What good is it to attain it? What good is it to attain it? Body is Sanskrit for awakening. What is awakening? Awakening means not muddled. That's right. Just now, this person said no more ignorance. Correct. Quickly cut off your ignorance. Shatter your ignorance, so that you reach body.